News from KPIX5 there in San Francisco. They say that uh, guys that have beards could be in danger of the coronavirus. Apparently, uh, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention uh, says that certain facial growth styles can interfere with a respirator or face mask, and that includes long beards like this. They say soul patches, the little tuft of hair you grow here, uh, and other beard growths that do not go around the mouth directly uh, are okay, but if you uh, do what Dave's doing, that those respirators and face masks will not work effectively. I disagree, okay, what, what the, I think that this, this, this is vodka, this is cheap, well, this is vodka, it's called $2.99 down at the local liquor store, okay. What Dave does, okay, is, uh, let me see if I can uh, get the top off of this. Okay, what you do is you sprinkle a little of this on a towel, okay? Just pour some of that on a towel, you know, get it, soak it up a little bit, you know, what the heck. And then, several times a day, you do this, okay? So that if, if there's any, you know, they say alcohol is a good, a good way to get rid of the virus, okay? Uh, you do this, and do this several times, several times a day. Yeah, and uh, you know, just, or or you could just sprinkle it directly onto your beard like this. You know, just you know. <laughs> anyway, and and keep that going all day. Okay, now. Uh, you know, if you don't want to do vodka, you could probably do some sort of mouthwash that has alcohol in it. Lots of mouthwashes have alcohol in it. You know, it's Listerine or whatever, and just, you know, do a little Listerine. Now, Listerine is kind of sticky because it's got sugary stuff in it, but, you know, I don't know. You know, I don't know. Oh, well, vodka. Vodka is not really sticky. It's not sticky like, uh, I guess it is sticky. Well, it isn't really sticky, you know. I would say, you know, cheap vodka. Go stock up at the liquor store on really the cheapest vodka you can find. Maybe you can find like a $9, $10 bottle of you know, the big stuff. And just do this several times a day. And uh, I think, you know, and then when you're out there, you know, the, the alcohol will be in your beard and it will protect you. I don't know. My theory is, ever I've had a beard now for like 40 years. And I often, when people around me are getting the flu, I don't get it, okay? I mean, I have had the flu in the last decade, maybe twice, okay, in the last 10 years, twice that have actually come down with a flu type thing. But most of the years that go by, I don't get a flu shot usually, and I don't usually get the flu either. Now, you know, I'm just saying, so I don't know, you know? But so here's the graphic that the CDC has issued. And, uh, yeah, if you can see that there. Virtually all types of beards, no, 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 except the ones that don't, you don't go too close. To, these ones, you can barely have, you have tiny little bits of facial hair, you know, something, you know, like, there's the, what the, you know, you know who beard. I'm not going to mention his name because the bots will hear it. The you know who beard, the guy in uh, Germany that started that horrible war, or, you know. Anyway, um, yeah, anyway. So, you know, most beards, no, 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 no. Fate mustaches, no, 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 no. But I, I disagree. This and a little dab of this or a little, maybe, or you know what you could do? You know what's even better? You know, I just thought of this while I'm doing this. Hi, Crotch. Hi, babe. Get a spray bottle. This spray bottle I got down at uh, Lowe's for uh, three bucks. It's the Zep professional sprayer, okay? Just put a little vodka in here, a mix of vodka and water, or, you know, something like that. And, uh, you know, cheap vodka. You don't, don't go buy, buy the Stoli or something, or the Skull Vodka. No, I just get the cheap stuff and put it in a spray bottle, and then a couple times a day, just kind of close your eyes. You want to have your eyes open and do... And just hit the beard with it. I, you know, I, hey, you know, coronavirus isn't something to laugh at. I totally agree with you. It's a serious thing. We should all be concerned about it. But, you know, we, to get us through the day, a little bit of a, a little bit of a chuckle here or there might, uh, might be the way to go. Okay, don't panic, okay? 
I don't know. I see people out there buying water. They, they're, they're, the virus is coming and they're, they're buying like, they're stocking up on water. I mean, what's going to happen to the water? You know, I mean, if, okay, if you live in an area that has lousy tap water and you already get water, okay, yeah, I can see maybe why you might, might want to stock up on it because maybe there might be a shortage of it. But most places where you can drink the tap water, I mean, why do you need to stock up on that? I don't think anything's going to happen to the tap water. Anyway, that's it. All right. Stay safe out there. Vlog Hundo.